All right, the commander's outside. The first time in a year, and I haven't really done anything to it in a year. I was kind of leaning towards building the C10, but I was actually pretty surprised by how many of you guys want to see the C10 built and not the commander. And, and it got me thinking over the week, um, I can see this being an awesome build, but it's something that not everybody gets to do because um, it's unique, it's one of a kind, and there's lots of shows out there that are entertaining and whatever, that's great that you can do this, but we have a budget that we'll never be able to afford and it's, it's unrealistic for any of us, whereas the C10 is actually something that a lot of us would like to tackle. We're getting into the, the, the electronic diesel swaps, not just the mechanical 12 valves anymore. Now, this was all Always going to get a 12 valve Cummins. It was going to be the Cummins Commander, and I'm sorry that I didn't bring that across more clearly, but uh, there was no chance that this was ever going to get a gas engine. But the C10, uh, there's a lot of parts available for it, there's a lot of them out there, so we will 100% put the uh, Duramax in that C10 and we'll take everybody along for the ride. Um, as for the commander, I know exactly where it's going to be, and if you see his yard, I don't think he's touched a lot of his vehicles in a, in a while. Maybe we'll get the chance to buy this again in 5-10 years. I don't know, we'll, we'll keep contact with him because he is a customer anyway. But uh, maybe you didn't see the last of this thing, but for now it's not the right build for us. But we're very excited about the C10. Alright, we're going to move all the... This is what Rich does to me. Yeah, come over. It's going to be easy. We're just going to move a car. He's like, oh no, I'll just start the truck and drive it right out. It's easy. I don't even need you to come along. Is it in drive? Is it in neutral? Is it in... Here she is, 1964 C10. Um, these, this truck was actually pieced together. This front clip is actually, from what he told me, was off a pulling truck. And there's supposed to be seams here somewhere, but I think the whole front end is actually welded together, which is kind of neat. It's got a 350 from a Corvette in there, uh, but it is uh, C solids and is junk, but it does have a five speed behind it with an iron case I think I don't think it's the aluminum case. I forget what model it is. I'll look into it more But that seems to be working as we were shifting it down the road the inner fenders and everything are in really good shape and You're always kind of worried because I only saw it in the dark in his shop, so um, Kind of taking a chance. I assumed that there was Bondo in it and if you see anything like this where this might be the original paint I'm sure that there's work done wherever there's primer um, I don't like this looks like brushed on trim clad and anywhere where there's black there was probably rust or work done now there's a little bit of bondo on the doors here I'm not sure why I can't imagine why the door would rust here typical rust in the bottom but for the most part they're in really good shape so um, the box used to be a long box and he shortened it to a short box but this is kind of rough 
and we might make it just a bit longer so we'll probably just get some steel bent up for the, uh, the, the this little piece here and then probably use these fenders but I think the plan for now is to um, fix the cab corners the rockers which are cheap the inside is actually in phenomenal shape the all the braces the cab mounts are all in great shape uh, some need a, just a little little repair on it but nothing massive the floors are um, typical so just a little spot on the on the front left and on the front right but as a whole they're they're in great shape so um, I don't think we have to do a whole lot there and the dash is complete the ceilings complete and as best as I can tell around the rubber the windshield looks pretty good too so the rubber's cracked we'll probably pull the glass so we can paint behind there I, I think I think the windshield's gonna leak just because the the, the rubber so um, cracked we'll probably pull the windshield put new rubber in it while it's out we'll paint behind it and then put the glass back in it but I think the plan for this is to paint it all one color and then we'll buff it down to some bare steel on the hood and on the on the roof the top of the fenders and and just a little bit here and then just let it sit let it rust because we don't have time to get to it anyway it's okay outside whereas the commander wasn't um, until all the bodywork was done so it opens up some room in the shop but uh, that's my plan for it right now okay so a couple ideas floating around I, I kind of want to do a rust of patina on this one that way I don't have to get too picky about the bodywork. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, otherwise I was thinking matte black, just quick and dirty. Um, but the biggest thing is there's a factory air ride off of a kneeling bus. It's a 2013, already has uh, Germax in it. It caught fire, so the bus is gone, the engine's toast. But the frame is there, and it's on a factory GM air ride suspension. Shorten that up, it's a dually. Um, everything's there, good Allison transmission. Buy that and put this on there. Um, but there were some comments, don't do air ride. I think uh, for, for a few grand, I got a full frame with the compressor, all the airlines, everything hooked up. The engine mounts are already ready for a Duramax. It's basically just putting uh, cab mounts on it and making the box fit, shorten the frame to whatever length we want and going from there. So yeah, let me know what color you guys would think or whether the rest of the patina would be nice or whether we should just scrap the whole air ride system and get a nice uh, three quarter ton chassis from, uh, from Tuesley and just make it a good pulling truck. Put a fifth wheel in the back and pull our cars around to shows or wherever. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I think we're heading to um, Ohio for the zip tie drags. Uh, we can meet up there if anybody wants to go. And I know you guys want an LS video today, but Petrolicious is releasing a video about the exact same Mercedes wagon. So we're going to time our video with that because they're a much bigger channel than ours. And hopefully, if we use some of the same names and keywords, then it'll be a recommended video on that and we can get some more hits on the LS. So sorry about the LS. It will be coming soon. If not, at the same time as Petrolicious, very shortly thereafter. Um, but anyway, I got a C10, so I'm, I'm happy even if you guys are pissed off. So thanks for watching. Here we go. <laughs> hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because you never know what you're going to see next week on DeBoss Garage. If you like what you see, there's a lot of stuff happening to help support the channel. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.